So, jetzt geht hier doch noch. Jetzt geht hier doch noch der punk abgleich Er sieht ziemlich heftig aus da oben. Und hier äh, ist schon ein kleiner oder ein besser ein ganz schöner Sturm unterwegs. Vielleicht könnt ihr das sehen. Also cried something going on. Ich bin mal gespannt, ob ich durchkomme. <lacht> Na, ich lasse mich mal überraschen. Okay, bis später. Ciao. Hallo zusammen. So, heute habe ich einen langen, eine lange Fahrt gehabt vom Toten Meer hier runter bis nach Elat, beinahe bis nach Elat in äh, den äh, Kibbutz Ketura. Und hier ist die Firma Algatec, die unser wundervolles Asexantin, die Algen produziert. Ihr seht schon hinter mir diese Glasröhren, in denen die Asexantin Alge wächst. Hier in dem Fall ist sie noch ganz grün. Das heißt, sie ist nur im Wachstumsstadium und wir werden es von der, von der F-Rad hier einmal durchgeführt. Sie zeigt uns alles, äh, den Trocknungsvorgang und viele verschiedene Sachen. Und äh, so gibt es ein paar neue Informationen über Asexantin. Okay? So, hier sieht man schon an den Glasröhren, dass die Alge sich verfärbt hat zu Rot. Das heißt, das ist kurz vor der Ernte wahrscheinlich. Um, do you know when, when, she, when this can be harvested? Is it long time? Or, uh, According to the color, you see it's not completely red. Not complete red. If you look there, oh, it's darker red. Darker okay. Red. So when it's a darker red, okay. then it's the harvest time. That's interesting, yeah. So, das heißt, umso dunkler rot die Alge wird, umso näher kommt sie an den Zeitpunkt, dass sie geerntet wird. Da sieht man ganz schön, wie das Wasser durchfließt. Das ist schon eine fantastische Anlage hier, weil es in Glasröhren alles gemacht wird. Es ist der Sonne trotzdem ausgesetzt und es gibt aber keine Pollution, keine Verunreinigungen von der Umwelt. Also es ist schon wirklich toll gemacht. mitgebracht. Es ist so, als würde das Asexantin nach Hause kommen, denn hier ist es entstanden, in dieser wundervollen Anlage. Also es äh, macht ganz viel Freude hier zu sein und mit den tollen Leuten zu sprechen. So, hier sehen wir mal, wie das Ganze geerntet wird. Da sieht man diese Reaktoren hier, die sind schon jetzt ganz, fast ganz gefüllt mit Wasser. In den oberen Rohren ist noch etwas rot zu sehen von den Asexantin. Das bedeutet, sie werden einfach rausgespült mit Wasser und kommen dann ins Labor rein, werden also geerntet. Und kommen dann ins Labor zum Trocknen, zum Verarbeiten und so weiter. So, ich stehe hier gerade mit Omar. Yes, yes. No, no, everything's fine. Okay. Ich stehe hier gerade mit Omar und er wird uns mal erzählen, wie, erzählen wie, die, wie die Zellteilung von der Hematococcus pluvialis vor sich geht. Ich habe immer gedacht, die teilen sich so wie menschliche Zellen in der Mitte durch, zu in zwei oder in vier oder in, in 
12 oder so, aber es ist völlig anders. Omar, please tell us how it's function. Because you have one cell and we always thought it divides in two or in four, but you told me about uh, daughter cells. Yes, yes. So, some algae do divide binary. It means one cell divided into two. Okay. Uh, Metococcus is not like that. Mm -hmm. Metococcus form one mother cell start dividing within itself okay. to form many daughter cells. It could be uh, 8, 10, 12, 20. Okay. Once the daughter cells are ready to, are mature enough to release, the cells, the, the mother cells open up and release the daughter cells into the medium. Okay, very good. You know, uh, on some farms in the world, they produce uh, Hematococcus pluvialis and they have only 1% of Asexantin inside. Mm -hmm. And you have about six, I believe. And um, w what is the difference? Does it, uh, is, is this a question of, of sunlight or of water or what is it? It's a question of many factors. The, the, the many factors drive Asexantin accumulation. It can be deprivation of nutrients, it can be sunlight, it can okay. be other factors. Mm -hmm. uh, one of uh, Agatech uh, specialty is to bring the, the algae to its maximum uh, potential. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. In, yeah. Uh, Aspect production. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Vor nicht allzu langer Zeit haben die hier 15 Millionen Dollar, glaube ich, investiert. Das war ein Dollar, um diese ganze Anlage aufzubauen. Die war vorher wirklich um einiges kleiner. Hier mitten in der Wüste und sie produzieren hier Algen. Das ist für mich schon fantastisch. Hier an dieser Stelle standen früher bei meinem letzten Besuch Kuhstelle. Das waren die ersten Kuhstelle, die ich gesehen habe mit Duschen und Ventilatoren für Kühe. Aber den Temperaturen ist es kein Wunder. So, ich bin noch im Labor hier und der Hagai, er ist der CEO von der Firma hier, wird uns jetzt was zeigen. Und zwar haben sie Asexantin so toll entwickelt jetzt auch ein neues Produkt, das also wasserlöslich ist. Und das wollen wir jetzt einfach mal sehen hier. Danke für das Ausmachen vom Ventilator. <lacht> Thank you. Um, okay. So, wir haben hier vorne zwei Gläser stehen mit Wasser. Nein, Wasser ist noch nicht drin. Okay, we just put some water in and then we will see what happens. So, this is a one of our product, the, the next generation for astaxanthin. Uh, we took a um, small particle astaxanthin and we coated it um, with proteins. And now you can see that... Um, okay. So, wir haben den Versuch vorhin schon gemacht, man muss noch ein bisschen rühren, aber es löst sich wirklich total auf und es, es ist auch wasserlöslich insofern, dass sich kein Sediment abbildet. Ein wundervolles Produkt und ähm, dazu kommt auch, dass es von seiner ähm, Molekularstruktur sehr, sehr klein ist und dadurch vom, vom Körper noch besser aufgenommen werden kann, wie zum Beispiel ähm, Kapseln, die, die Öl in, äh, Öl in in der Kapsel drin haben, in dem das Asexantin geschützt ist. Und dieses Pulver hier ist wirklich zwei Jahre lang mindestens stabil. Das heißt, es geht auch nicht kaputt. So you can see probably that it's very pure. Yeah, it's wonderful. And uh, yes, it's actually very tasty. Yeah, yeah. Um, the nice thing about this technology is that because of the size of the particle and because of the technology it's absorbed much better mm -hmm. uh, in your body and it can reach to your eyes in your to your brain mm -hmm. in a much higher uh, than usual astaxanthin okay so we think that that's probably going to be the best way to consume your astaxanthin into the f in the future and that's definitely our uh, next generation astaxanthin uh, in the future so As you know, Roland, you are one of our partners. They are partners in Germany. And you can uh, see your product. We are, we are very proud of the relationship with you. And we definitely are going to uh, provide this product um, to your customers. And I want to say uh, one thing about, um, about Astaxanthin. You saw some of the things that's going on in this facility. It's over 20 years of uh, experience Mm -hmm. uh, of cultivation of the astaxanthin. Every 
part of the um, every part of the um, of the process. Uh, there is a lot of ten attention to details, um, to the way we produce, and mm -hmm. what is the care needed in order to um, in order to make it a good quality product. Mm -hmm. uh, it started from the petri dish, and it's going until the outside. You saw the production facility. Yeah. Everything the algae see in the process should be controlled and should get the best quality in order to get the best astaxanthin. We, are, we have luck to be in the desert, so we have uh, plenty of sun. Uh, we have the highest concentration of astaxanthin, which is very important. Um, we use only materials that are uh, good for food, so the algae absorbed things that people can consume it. And when people buy uh, this kind of product like astaxanthin, which is one of the best uh, nutrients in the, in the, in the nature, mm -hmm. they deserve to get the right quality. And we know that there is a lot of, uh, there is product outside there, which unfortunately are not real. Like everything, you can buy a very good cell phone like iPhone, and you can come, you can come crop, which is not going to work after one month. If someone wants to buy astaxanthin and enjoy the quality of nature, he need to buy it from trusted supplier. He need to know that he buy a real astaxanthin. He need to exactly. know it to, that he right, yeah. the, buy the right quality. He don't want to find anything else other than the right quality astaxanthin. And this is why we are very proud of what we do it before, mm -hmm. because um, we know that we provide today the mm -hmm. best quality astaxanthin in the market. I know. We have already many of fake products in the market in Germany too, and uh, there are products. They, they say they have um, 18 um, milligram astaxanthin, but it's not per capsule. It is per per 180 capsules, and um, people should be should know that um, 100, 180 capsules cannot be sold for for 11 euro. This is something which is I, not. I think that today the people are smart to know that if it's too cheap, there is a reason. Mm -hmm. So you pay maybe a cheap price, but you pay a lot for nothing. Exactly. That's so the you, point. you can mm -hmm. buy even, you can take a oil and eat the oil because it's exactly the same. Exactly. If you want to get astaxanthin mm -hmm. uh, with the right quality and the right standard, mm -hmm. you probably want to buy from someone that you can trust, mm -hmm. that he provide you the astaxanthin in the dose that uh, he said that he provide you the dose. And that's also come with the price, mm -hmm. unfortunately, because we invest a lot. And by the way, you saw the, the facility, um, we very, take a lot of care about um, environment, environmental. So we use the solar energy to operate this facility. Mm -hmm. The algae create oxygen and consume the CO2. We use all the water in order to irrigate the date plums that we have today. Mm -hmm. So actually every drop is count. Mm -hmm. So we didn't mean to do that, but we supposed like. to be okay. very environmental friendly mm -hmm. in this area that you are not going to find any industrial place in uh, miles and miles away from here. So it's the middle of the mm -hmm. desert. Mm -hmm. it's, okay. uh, it's a beautiful land, but I, I think it's the algae is a perfect thing to grow here yeah. because of the sun and because of the, the weather. Yeah, this is my feeling too. Okay, what's the idea of new products of other algae in your company here? So now you take all my secrets. Yeah, I will, <laughs> I will try. <laughs> so um, we believe that uh, the microalgae is the source of the 21st century. And mm. why is that? Because the first creature that was created in this world was algae. algae. Mm. That's the first thing that happened. 1.5, 2 billion years from now, uh, ago. Mm. And actually our astaxanthin mm. has doubled the size of the DNA. The, the algae, oh, the human is, being. This is incredible. It's okay. incredible. And if you think about it, this, uh, this creature, this phenomenal creature, <laughs> survived 1.5 billion years. And that's, it has a good reason to do that. You need to cope with bacteria. You need to cope with fungi. You need to cope with yeast, mm -hmm. coping on the same medium. Mm -hmm. So the algae created the ingredients and the mechanism to protect itself and to survive over those years. Mm -hmm. And what we say in Algatech, let's take this good stuff from the algae and bring it to us, to the people. And that's mm. what we try to do. We go and find new algae, a new ingredient, a new mechanism to bring to us, to the yeah. people. 
We have eight PhDs. We have people here from uh, 14 places in, uh, in, in the world. So you see Jana and Irena, for example, our QC uh, and lab technician are from uh, Hi, Many are from, people uh, are standing Russia around. And, uh, Ukraine, <laughs> and you can see our staff. Okay. So people here from 14 countries, okay. all passionate from the same vision. We mm. want to bring the good of microalgae mm. to the world. Eight PhDs, well, You by see, the way. we don't have always to copy the nature, we have to use the nature. This exactly. is the point. Exactly. Yeah. We, we think that uh, nature probably know better than us. I know. So yeah. we, we look at the nature, we see what the nature do, mm. and just say, okay, it's smart. Exactly. Let's bring it to the people. Let's use it, we cannot make it better. Exactly. Mm. Let's yeah. use it in a smart mm. way, mm. and that's what we try to do in architecture. Mm. We look at the algae, we see what they do, and then you say, eh, why not to take it to the to the people? This ingredient, this mechanism. Yeah. And today in Algatech we grow uh, several algae, um, and we hope that in the next few months, and then one year and two years, three years, we are going to bring more and more wonderful ingredients like astaxanthin uh, into the market. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that astaxanthin has so many advantages that many people don't know. I don't know if people know that uh, it's the beard. I, I, I told you before mm -hmm. that beard has it in the eyes to protect it from the, from the radiation. So I don't know how many people know that, that pe the, the birds, the nature, use it in order to protect, like a sunglasses. Mm -hmm. So for example, people now every day is in front of the computer, mm -hmm. goes outside, the eye is be damaged because of that. Why not use astaxanthin like, like mm -hmm. uh, other, other creatures in the nature? But the point is how to get the astaxanthin in the eyes. This, it means yes. um, until now we have soft gel capsules, or we have ordinary uh, tablets from some companies, but this is not all. I think we have to, you, you did something very uh, that's smart. That's true. And, and actually we are now going to come with better solution for eyes and, and brain. We are going to mm -hmm. come with directed astaxanthin to, uh, to this, uh, to this um, uh, area. Uh, the astaxanthin reached to the eyes, but I think with our solution is going to be better uh, and uh, the body will use it in a better way. So. We are now investing a lot with you as our, as our partners to bring this good stuff into the people because mm. they deserve it. But they need to make sure, and that's something that I'm sure that you need to uh, educate your customer, not to go after the wrong, um, uh, wrong product, which sometimes even doesn't have astaxanthin, unfortunately. Mm. They claim, and then people become maybe frustrated or disappointed. Exactly. If you do something like that, don't be surprised that nothing will happen because that's not astaxanthin. I know. If you want to buy astaxanthin, you need to know that it need a lot of care, a lot. It's a lot of capabilities, a lot of know to grow the right astaxanthin, mm. and that's something that you probably can find in very lucrative uh, brands like yourself. Mm. And we are very proud of of our relationship and about the fact that uh, people in Germany and in Europe can enjoy a, the right quality of astaxanthin and, in, and, and elevate their health with this product. I think we have, um, we, we still have um, many answers for different kind of sickness in, in algaes, which we maybe does not find until now. Do um, you have any ideas? You know more than, than me. Yes. But I think that we need to keep some secret for the next for the next visit. I tried it. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, there is more to come. More to come. Okay. So ich glaube, es wird noch sehr spannend hier. Ich muss einfach wiederkommen. Wir treffen uns. We will meet on the on the fair in in uh, Geneva Thank you very next much. month. It's always And, great to see you. Okay. Thank you for this talk. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much.